You notice how the devil just eases in. People think when the devil does something, he just, oh, he'll just come in like a, you know, just like a flood and and all that, and and he just tears something all to pieces, and then this, that. He don't. E- you know what? Most of the time he don't even work that way. Mm-mm. I'll give the devil credit where it's due. He's good at what he does. He, you just don't need to let him do it. Because little by little, he'll, 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 if he can just get the door cracked and get the shoe of his foot in there, or his, his foot where you can't shut the door back, that's all he's interested in. He'll wait and wait and wait. Yeah. He will. And then just as soon as he can, he'll stick his whole foot in there. And he, he's all right with that. That's all he wanted. He, he wasn't expecting nobody to throw the door wide open and say, well, <laughs> yeah. No, he wasn't expecting that. Most people won't. He just gets his foot in. And then here he comes on in. After a while, he's, he's all right with that. Yeah. What do I mean by that? Well, he'll speak a little thought to some preacher or some people. Just a little bitty thought. It's not that significant. But then they'll take it. And they'll voice it out. He's done his job. That's right. That's all he wanted. Don't think the devil's going to come up and say, hey, I'm against this book. I'm against God. I'm against everything. He wouldn't do that in a million years. He's got, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. Just a little thought. One little thought. And you grab a hold of it. And you twirl that around. Speak it out. Bam. That's all he wanted to accomplish that time. And he did. And what the child of God has got to do is is an immediate no. Not here. Not today. Amen. And sometimes you will have to do just like the Word of God says. I resist you. And that is a resistance. When you go up to someone and you meet resistance, that means they don't cooperate with you. So he comes to the door and he goes, and you go, who is it? And he goes, it's doubt. Because you know you really don't know what you're going to do about this, do you? And you say, you can't come in here today. Because I do know what I'm going to do. I'm going to trust in God. Well, now, I'm not cooperating with him. I'm resisting him. And he goes, will you open the door? And I go, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. And he says, well, why not? Because you're not welcome here. I'm resisting him. Now I'm just saying that in terms where everybody can understand. So when a pain hits you, you say, hey, you shouldn't, you shouldn't just let it hang on you. You shouldn't let the devil hang stuff on you. You say, hey, now wait a minute. I resist that in the name of Jesus. This is my body. This ain't your body. This is mine. It's the only body I got. I'm taking care of it. You ain't putting nothing on me, devil. You can keep your old arthritis. You can keep your old sugar diabetes. You can keep your old high blood pressure. You can keep all this stuff. I'm not taking it. Are you hearing? <clears throat> Remember, life and death are in the power of the tongue. You know what Jesus said? He said, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. What does that mean? 
that also means the same thing as this. Whatever you permit. Somebody said, do I have that kind of say so? I absolutely do. It's just you, maybe you, you don't know about that. Most people don't, don't ever get over into that realm. They're just they're too religious. The far as they go is the one they got in the pulpit. That's not far enough. He may not be far along. You may only get as far as him if that's all you ever listen to. Whew. Ain't that right, brother? Right here says a brother been around the block a time or two. What I'm saying is the truth. Amen. I would encourage anybody to read after good men of God that's come up in our past and may be here today. But read after them. Listen to what they say and do 